Aloha, I'm Reverend Cindy Palos, and I wanted to talk about dealing with lessons that get pretty hard to learn, <laughs> get kind of difficult as we go along. There's so many opportunities in this life to learn lessons. There's really no limit to the lessons being learned. You might have found that out already <laughs> if you've been around a lot. Um, I had an opportunity to learn more about that because of the recent fires that happened in Maui. Now, in a tragedy like this, everyone on the island goes through changes. And when there's that happening, there's a lot of things that go on. Some people react by trying to do everything they can do to help and to salvage um, some of what's been happening. Some people react in grief and anger and the process we go through when there is a loss. Some people just want to shut down. And then some people start looking for answers and some people look for blame. I've been seeing all of those amplified here. And it's made me really stop and look at myself as well. And when I've seen things that I have known as being created to divide or things that were lies that were being spread by some who weren't even here, my Aquarius part of myself got very upset and very angry. After a while of seeing this, you know, especially spread through social media, I was getting increasingly upset. And that isn't good, right? When we start to get reactive, we have to stop and go, wow, why am I reacting if I can't really change that? Maybe that's part of it. Maybe because we can't change what happens. And we have to accept maybe that's part of our lesson. And maybe going into our state of that inner self that is objective, maybe by watching and seeing, we can go back to that place where maybe we can realize that we can't change anything by being angry and upset. What we can do is change the way we react. And when we do that, then we are potentially more able to really go to that place where we can see what the deeper need is here. And when we understand and experience the deeper need that is here, perhaps we might be able to step outside our own anger and grief and look at it in a different way. There's so much happening that people are not going to be able to understand as we evolve and go through some of these disasters that seem to be occurring more and more and more frequently. That it's become clear to me that we have to have a different kind of disaster response. Obviously, there still has to be the disaster response that is the emergency response to try to help the people and have lost so much, you know. Financially, of course, but emotionally and spiritually as well. There's been such stress that's placed when these disasters happen. And over that stress and beyond that stress is the awareness that we are not in control here. And when we're faced with the security of knowing everything we have can be lost in a moment... What does that do to your psyche when you realize that in a moment everything you own can be lost, including loved ones? Now, if we talk about lessons, what a lesson that is. 
and we might have to just stop and pause and see what it does to people's faith and trust and what it does to their state of mind. I really have been practicing and doing spiritual work all my life, well, since I've been 12. And I've never seen such a time and a need for more patience, more understanding, more love. And if we could just find that, then we can really learn such an important and beautiful lesson and use that to relate to people instead of anger and division and blame. This need right now for more love and more aloha and more understanding is so important. Let's just take a moment to go within and do a couple of prayers and bring in that light and that love and that understanding. I'll start with the Aramaic Lord Prayer. Father, Mother of the Cosmos, shimmering light of all, focus your light within us as we breathe your holy breath. Enter the sanctuary of our hearts and unite within us the sacred rays of your power and your beauty, bringing heaven here to our hearts within us. Ah, and let us now pause that prayer and bring that, allow that, gift of heaven and celebration of life for all of those who have passed over to come and join us and allow their energy and light to lift us to experience a little more of that heaven here on earth. That higher dimension, the higher realm of light, love, Ah, breathe that heaven here on earth and let us understand that in that moment, the forgiveness that we need can be present when we let go of the judgment. Let's let go of all of the judgment right here and now. Ah. What does that feel like when you release that place of judging and you put in in your heart that place of understanding, that healing place where you can understand what is out of your control, what goes beyond and brings us that love that can help. Well, it truly can heal. It's a love that is an energy field that heals and lifts us and transitions us to that place where we are able to be in a place of understanding. That higher love, that greater infinite agape love, let it come to you right now. Breathe it in and allow it to be. Ah, feel that energy changing you right now. Changing your energy field, the light around you and above you and through you, all changing into this beautiful healing light and love of God's presence. And nothing blocking that presence of love here now. Ah, and absorb it into all parts of your body, letting go of any of the tension and frustration. 
And now let it come back into every single cell of your body, every single point of your energy field filled with that healing light and love right now. Ah, and now slowly come back, come back, come back. And be aware of the power of that love and understanding and how you can use it in this special time of need. And give thanks, great thanks, for that healing energy of light and love and that change in your perspective. And say, thank you, God, and so it is. <laughs>